Welcome, Kathy here from Santa Marta Designs. So I had hoped to have a lot more of this hat ready for you guys to maybe just decorate it, but we're gonna go with the flow here tonight because things are all out of control in our schedules here. So you know what? We um what's that saying? Take you can get lemon, you can make lemonade. So um we're not gonna make lemonade, but we're gonna make a mini top hat. <laughs> And it's going to be super cute. Look at this fabric we have here. Can you guys see, see this pattern? Oh my goodness. Alright, so um, this is going to be the front of the hat. Like the big part that you see, right? This is going to be the bottom of the hat. This is going to be the top of the hat. I shouldn't say the hat, the brim, like the flat part. Um, this is actually the top of the hat, okay? So we're gonna do this together, okay? And you guys are actually gonna get a treat because, so usually I don't do all this live. I need to get my wire out because I forgot it. Excuse my little slippers because I'm in my slippers. Um, so we don't usually do all this live because we have this pattern um, and it's instructions for sale in our Etsy shop, which is, a real good deal. I think it's like $10.99. You get the pattern and all the instructions. So, and I put pictures to everything, um, which I think the, the middle of the, the bottom of the hat um, getting joined, I think is the only part that I didn't put pictures to. I don't know why. Something must have happened that I didn't put pictures to that. <laughs> so, we're just going to bend our wire. But if you want details on all this stuff and like all the product um, types, names, where you get them, then you definitely got to purchase the listing on the pattern. And guys, I know, I know, I know, I owe you guys um, a commercial listing thing, but if you guys ever need it, just, just shoot me a message because it'll get my butt to start moving quicker. So the reason why you see a big dump of flowers over here, it's not we're going to use all of them, but we're going to decorate the side of it with flowers instead of just a lot of fur and feathers and things because I figured these two little guys will cover that part so and then we have like eggs I don't know which egg we're going to use because I don't know which chicky we're going to use so we've got ourselves covered we've got lots of trim um we've got flowers galore so we're going to push things aside because things are starting to get a little hairy over here it's like oh we've got uh, this trim, we've got purple, we've got this, oh, ropey trim with, like, leaves on it. Then we've got some pearls, too. Guys, I got you, got us covered, okay? We're going to start cutting this up, guys. We don't have time to spare here. Am I gluing the material to cardboard? Nope, the material is not cardboard. The material is listed right in our listing for the pattern. So if you need to know what kind of uh, material this is, um, it's all in the pattern information and um, it's all listed out as far as what kind of, what you need on which piece um, because each piece has uh, something a little bit different. You know, the way I like to actually do it is putting this part on afterwards, um, just on the top, because I find it sometimes a little bit easier, but we're going to see, we're going to see what we come up with today. How's that? How's that? And I'm going to bend this a little bit 
so that it doesn't start to kind of cave in and crack. So this is much better. So you just kind of have to soften this up because if you don't, I didn't, I, every time you start working with new um, kind of like products that you're offering, you just kind of, every time you do it, you kind of figure something new out that's like, oh, that works a lot better. Why don't we do this? And so if now seeing that if you just kind of um, bend this, and I, I'm sure if I took my heat gun to it, it would be even better um, to just kind of make it a soft curve versus causing any kind of like cracks in the material. Um, it's not that it's going to be hugely seen if it was, but so we're going to just kind of stick these two together right now. All right. So, and the good part about these hats is that you never really have to worry about if something doesn't line up exactly because there's always going to be a section that you're going to be able to cover something up with. So they're so forgiving um, is really what I want to say. So that if you kind of like messed up and it doesn't line up right, it's really forgiving because you're going to be using um, trim and feathers and all sorts of uh, concoction of um, you know uh, just accent pieces so um, and I put in the um, in the pattern is also the information on what size uh, gauge wire I use because it's definitely not the normal wreath attachment wire okay you need something a little bit stronger than what we always use for wreaths. What kind of paper is it cardstock? Uh, so there's no paper involved in making this hat and all those details um, of what you need from the supply store are in the pattern purchase list. that aside we got that together before this pattern is like two a t so if you guys don't are a little afraid of screwing up cut cut this part a little longer because you can always cut it shorter um but so if you don't fold your fabric very tightly and you get a lot of bumps like i did because i know i did and that's why i just told you i like to try and make sure it's flatter and not so thick because i have a little tiny gap right there and that was totally my fault because I'm trying to rush through this and I did the same thing last time because I didn't listen to myself but we're gonna cover that up anyway so I'm not even worried you guys are gonna be like what you're gonna cover that up yep we're gonna cover that up tip with tools guys um, so cuticle cutter great for getting excess glue out. I purposely put the big bunny face on the front. Um, so I kind of think I want this tan one. 
because the pink on the top is already like a big pop of color. So I think I'm going to put this one on top. And then when we come down here, I was really digging this um, roughly one. Whoops. We're down a flower. I was really digging this roughly one for the bottom because it's just so, it's just so elegant and foofy. I can't, that's the only words that keep coming to my mouth when I talk about this project is foofy. <laughs> So I think that's what I'm going to do instead of having like two pinks, even though I really love this pink because it really goes with this little guy so well. We'll find something else to put this on. But for now, I think that's what we're going to use. So let's start working on this part. Okay, so they put tape. We're going to gently take this tape off. And this is my little trick to this. So I take a, just a tiniest bit of glue tiny and that was already like a little too much and I just start to kind of put like a glue coating over the edge of the trim um, it's gonna look a tiny bit shiny you don't want anything tremendous because you don't want like this big glob of glue to come out but the purpose of doing this is so that you can actually cut this without the trim coming apart so the back is the back you don't care about the back you can have a little extra on the back because again you don't want it to the whole purpose is you just don't want the glue the trim to start falling apart when you cut it because uh, you know trim it will just start to unravel um, I guess depending on the trim it's kind of like rope so we're just going to fan this out to kind of get it to cool down a little bit. Um, and normally last time I kind of went and did straight up. See, look at my stupid cap. That was my stupidity. It's because, you know, when you fold these pieces in, they really need to be flat and not have a tremendous amount of glue, um, you know, kind of covering the layer in the fabric underneath because every kind of additional whatever you add is going to take away from the space that this wraps or so if you get if you get um kind of worried you can cut your circle down um but so the other option is you can put the circle right on top um and that you know you can ensure that this closes um for you, if you're trying it out for the first time so now this is cooled down. So now I'm just going to cut it and it's a straight edge and it's not going to fall apart. Like I can touch this as much as I want. It's not going to unravel and you can't even tell. So this time I think though, I think what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and I just want to see where this is going to cover. So we're going to have to kind of go right up to the edge. So see how that just gets covered anyways. Like, you don't have to worry. We're going to take a swig of our coffee from our 617 Grit store. You guys checked out our 617 Grit shop? I think I feel like there's a little extra glue that I put on here so when everything's done and dry and set I will take my heat gun and kind of um, just give it a little a little uh, blast to kind of melt over the glue a little bit more so that way it's not so so shiny and just kind of melts into the fabric a little bit more so now we're on the bottom this is the front of our guy here so we're gonna take 
this as our back side here. Okay. And I think I'm going to put the trim on now. So I think we're gonna put the trim on first because I was gonna put the trim on after, but I don't think it's gonna work that way. So we're gonna put the seam of the trim for this one is gonna go right on the side here where all the flowers are gonna be. So we can't even see any seam or anything. Okay. Oh, that's so cute, that trim.
What do you guys think? Which way do I have to go? This way. Where's the camera? This way. So there's the front, our little bunny. I accidentally off-centered this, this little girl, but she's cute. So that's the side and the back. There's the back and then the kind of plain side that goes back to the front this way. How come I can't get it straight? There we go. And so it is closed. So if anybody wanted to use this for a gnome, they could just literally poke a hole in the uh, center here. Thank you everyone for staying on with me. Kathy here from Santa Marta Designs. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys want to learn how to make these, I have these patterns available in our Etsy shop. The pin um, on the very bottom of the screen is linked there to the actual pattern itself. Um, so you can do these on your own. You can pick your fabric. You can do what you want. You can pick your trim. Any kind of season, any kind of hat, make it yourself and put your own spin to it.